Hi again everyone and welcome to the second video, second, third, I don't know, I've lost count when I've been making a few and I haven't posted them yet. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get right to it. Alright, so for those of you just turning in, I want you to know that I am using 26 gauge wire. It is actually purple. It's really nice. Okay. We are making wire wrapped rings and I am actually going to use a white cabochon bead gemstone. Okay. I actually have a couple of these made. There's one in teal. I have another one in teal, but this one has jewelry wire wrapped around the gemstone. Okay. That is a little bit more difficult of a process, so we'll get into all that later. Alright. So, you see that? You need a pretty big piece of wire. Okay. You gotta take that gemstone, you gotta slide it through that wire. And me, I don't like to use much. So there's the end. And there's the gemstone. So you've got all this other wire. You're gonna take the bottom of that wire. And you're going to slide it back through the gemstone going this way. And you're going to make a circle. Now I want you to pull on that wire. And you see it's starting to make a circle. But these two wires here, you want to keep them the same length. So you're going to have to hold on off and on to the gym and keep pulling that way you get just enough wire on each side okay see what we're going for there that little circle I have my ring mandrel. You can use anything. Anything. You can use this. You can even put it on your finger and size it that way and wrap it around. I find that's more difficult to do, so I use the ring mandrel. So I'm going to put that on there. Okay. And what I'm going to do is once I get it on there, I'm going to take these two wires and I'm going to squeeze that. Okay. Now, holding on to the wires, I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to take it and I'm going to go under the bead as tight as possible. Now I've got my finger on the gemstone. I'm going to come up this way with that wire this wire I'm gonna tighten pull tight tight keep a hold of that gemstone wrap it around the bottom and do the same thing okay now you've got that There's your gemstone, here's your wires, you're going to have three in the back. Now pull those wires tight again. Pull them tight again. Hold on to one of them keep it tight now with this one on the top take it and you're gonna go down and under 
the gemstone under. Under and over. Aww. See, even on your best day, no matter how many times you've done this, you're going to make mistakes. Now let's try that again. We're going to have to come right back where I started. I'm having to tighten that up. Okay, now. Go down. No, I cannot get the. There we go. Down and over. Do that a couple of times. Okay, one more. Okay, so there's your one side. And we're gonna leave that over there. Now, back to this next wire. We're gonna bring it back around and we're going to go under the bead again or gemstone under over that first one's a little difficult because of the wire you just left and we're going to do that repeat that process a couple of times okay you see that under and over It's coming unwrapped on me. Okay. Alright, now. That's done. Alright, so. We got our wrap there. And we got a little bit more jewelry wire on this side than we do on this one. But that's alright. We're going to start on this one. We're going to bring this piece down into this you're going to bring it at the very top push it through and squeeze push it up and pull and then you're going to go around and around Keeping it as tight and as together as you can. It does not have to be perfect. It does not. Every ring is going to look different, especially if you're just beginning. I'm going to stop on this side for a second. Adjust this wire and go down and do the same thing. See that down? And through the hole and pull it tight tight and then wrap it again and again and again and again you want to wrap it as many times as you can because that is strengthening the ring itself and it's nice decoration on the side The purple and the white really look great together. They really do. Now, remember, we want to make sure we keep these even. Okay, so let me finish pulling this one through. Alright. I'm going to 
put that back on here. Because we need to straighten that out a little bit before we wrap it anymore. Okay. There we go. Have your ring. With the bead. Well, the gemstone bead. Okay. And then we're going to wrap it because we don't want to eat. We really don't want to waste the jewelry wire. Especially the pretty purple jewelry wire. When we can just keep pulling and wrapping. And yes, your ring is going to bend while you're wrapping because you are pulling on it. But like I just put it on there, on that ring mandrel, you can straighten it right back up. I'm going to speed up here a little bit. Okay. Alright. This side has a lot of extra wire. gonna wrap this until it's even with the other side and we're almost there and again this is just adding strength to the ring and a little bit more decoration to the ring okay so we're gonna go ahead and cut that off nail file. You want to shave off those sharp edges that the wire cutter leaves behind. Last thing you want to do is for a client to put on a ring and it cut them. So just like you're filing your nails, file down the sharp edges. And if you're using a color, be careful and just only do the sharp edges because you don't want to rub off that color because a nail file is basically sandpaper and it will take away that color. So wrap as much of it as you can with your finger. And then you're going to break out your little pliers. Okay. And that little bit of wire sticking up right here. We're going to take that and we're going to go the same way. And that's it. And the same the other side, same thing. Wrap it the same way. Sides are tucked in. And again, we have our beautiful purple wire with the white cabochon bead gemstone wrapped in that purple wire. That's one wrapped in gemstone in the purple wire. 
one of my favorites. But I'm out of fingers. So here we go. So there you go. There's one with the purple wire and one with the teal wire. They're both very, very pretty. Two so of my favorites, obviously. I love the white and the color. Alright, that's it for now. I hope you join me for my next video, which will be coming up, I don't know, soon, hopefully. I'm getting these done as fast as I can, trying to get them posted. Alright, thank you for joining me. I hope you can come back. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I will get back to you as fast as I can. I do have a shop on Etsy if you would like to sh visit that. Go to Etsy.com slash shop Jones Jewelry Craft. All this and more is on there for sale. I would love for you to check it out. I would also love for you to check out my videos. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great time. Bye.